<laughs> yep, just sign your name. Let's go. Hey, Aya. Over here. It's open, let's check it out. Ah. Excuse me, hello, hey. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We would like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> They're not amused. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? You're jumping to being pretty defensive. What is this? Man, I... I look down for a second and the dialogue's advancing itself. Oh, she's seen this dude before? I know him, I think. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now do you. That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. And then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping that you could supply us with some info. You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. <laughs> okay. Do you? <laughs> well, do ya, punk? The mitochondria possesses, possesses its own unique genetic code. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kinda like a parasite or something, huh? Oh. Parasite. That's an interesting way of describing this fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria, do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we are nothing. We're all here because the mitochondria <laughs> allows us to be here. Our brain, they're looking at each other very like this guy. Hmm. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to an interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy that the mitochondria provides. One second. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 I imagine that's volts of electricity. This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat. <gasps> oh man. Energy as well. Heat. Then the combustion from last night. Combustions from last night were... For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. Yesterday when I read that line, I accidentally said 16,000, and wow, humans would be pretty sturdy. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. Um, is that true? If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? <laughs> it's like the whole humans only use 10% of their brain power thing, except 
this is like humans only use like 10% of their body power, I guess? I don't know. Professor, you may be right in that we need to the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Haha, <laughs> you have no idea that the mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. I, for one, welcome our new mitochondrian overlords. <laughs> Take this hand, for example. Before we were born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the hand, or when the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. The signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and, in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. Okay, wow. If there was a drinking game for take a shot every time, they say mitochondria in just this segment alone, you would have liver poisoning. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production levels decrease. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? Oh, next you're going to tell me that the red blood cells are a higher species than us too, right? Huh? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is all doing this all consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to de determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. <clears throat> with this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You want to know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Um, Otto. Just incredible. Eve. <clears throat> The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. But I told... Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what's going on in here. Or what's going on here. Daniel, just forget it. Let's go. He's not very happy. <clears throat> I guess we'll go back to the station. We go to Carnegie Hall, but go back to the crime scene. Now, you know, smoldering and such. Hey, you, you can't just come barging in here. You ain't getting no special treatment. But I... But, but, my investigation. Screw you, man. What is, <clears throat> excuse me, what is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Did you notice that when he hit his hand on the steering wheel's edge, it beeped the horn? That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. 
Looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station. Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. Yeah, just hit one of your seven radio consoles there. I'm sure one button has it. The whole place is going nuts. I wonder what's happened. That's it. Okay. Let's go, folks. We're I it advanced faster than I thought it would there. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was cancelled. Damn, didn't you say earlier that the record says that she's dead? But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let- Oh, could that be the concert that his kid had tickets to? Another massacre happened again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine. They're at that concert. What? We're not through yet. Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Aya. Watch us back. Yes, sir. Another mod permit. Cool. Alright, let's get moving down there. I'm going to be right behind you, Daniel. I just need to go make my gun more spiffy. Alright. <clears throat> I guess I'll mod the M1911. When are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. Okay. Sorry, Aya. Didn't mean to make a scene. That goes for you, too. You can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have any equipment mod- Yeah, do you have a permit? Yes, I do. There you go. Uh, modify the M19 this time. Just remember, um, yeah, you said that already. All right, let's get going.
What does Melissa or Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area so that she can start a really big fire. That thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Alright, to Central Park. It's been like half an hour and we haven't done anything actually yet as far as like gameplay. Ben! Jason! Yeah, and you'll stop. I gotta go get my boy, Ricky. <laughs> oh, yikes. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. <laughs> I don't think he would have been able to see that coming, regardless of what he did. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. I can't do anything. Well, get over it. You're not gonna be very good to your kid if you're, you know, a bunch of crispy flakes. Leave it to me. Well, but, but... I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do any... You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. Alright. First things first, I want to change my weapon to the M16. Because it does more damage. Yeah. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and save at this phone here. The run cycle doesn't look any better with the gun in the hand. Oh, a snake. Oh, two snakes. Ooh. The thing was striking for the heart. Sweet Jesus. Gotcha. Oh, 